Welcome to Gimbal Enlighten with Moza, Gimbal Guru, and Aldoy. Join us for this episode of Gimbal Talk as we'll be covering in detail the Moza Air 2. Raising the bar again, the second evolution, the Moza Air 2, with a camera capacity of 9 pounds. If you wish to jump ahead, here's a list describing each chapter and video timeline location. Chapter 1 Unboxing and Getting to Know Your Moza Air 2. The Moza Air 2 comes packed in a retail box. The gimbal and its accessories are stored inside a compact case. Inside the case, you will find the Moza Air 2, a memory quick release plate, one set of batteries which is made up of four 18650 battery cells, camera control cables for Sony, Canon, Panasonic, support rod adapter for the follow focus, a pair of follow focus support rods, a mini tripod, battery charger. If you purchase the optional iFocus accessory, it will come with an adjustable lens gear and a 3.5mm CAN cable. Also included with the Moza Air 2 is a camera riser for smaller cameras. Attach the two brackets to the two quick release plates along with the support rod adapter. After that, attach the camera and the eye focus. We will now go over the parts of the Moza Air 2. At the top of the gimbal is located the memory quick release along with the quick release system. To the right of the quick release system is the lever to lock and unlock the memory quick release plate along with two safety releases at the front and back. Below that is an adjustment for the pitch axis, also known as the tilt axis. Use this adjustment to make fine adjustments to the balance of the pitch axis. There is also a safety release to allow the removal of the quick release system. On the front of the gimbal is located the multi-can port and 12 volt output. On the reverse side is located the 7.4 volt output and camera connection USB port. The pitch motor, also referred to as the tilt motor, this knob adjusts for the vertical position of the camera's center of mass. Note, most first time gimbal users improperly balance this axis. Do not leave this adjustment in the lowest possible position. Following the roll arm leads to the roll motor. Above the roll motor is the roll axis adjustment. Continuing down the yaw arm is the yaw motor, also known as the pan motor. Next to the yaw motor is the yaw adjustment. Just below the roll motor, following the yaw arm, is the roll access lock. If the gimbal is operated with the lock engaged, the gimbal's motors will not power on. On the side of the hand grip is the dial wheel for controlling focus and other features. Located on the front of the gimbal is a 3 8 mount with a rosette for extra surface tension. Just below that is the smart trigger. On the reverse side of the hand grip is the status display, 5 weight analog joystick, smart wheel, mode button, FN button, the power button that controls record and stop when using the camera connection cable. On the side of the handle is the DC power input, USB type C port. On the front of the handle is the battery cover release and the battery compartment. At the bottom of the handle is a 1 4th and 3 8 mount. The Air 2 features a clear line of sight to the camera's monitor. By shortening the yaw arm, the roll motor is placed below the camera. Doing so gives the user a clear line of sight to the camera's monitor. With the Moza Air 2, following the action is uninterrupted. Chapter 2 How to Set Up the Moza Air 2 To get the Moza Air 2 up and running, the two most important items you will need is a charged set of batteries, the memory quick release plate, which is compatible with Manfrotto quick release plates. Let's install those batteries. To install the batteries, press down the battery cover release and lift up the battery cover. Install the back column batteries positive side up. And the front column of batteries positive side down. The battery life of the Moza Air 2 is 16 hours. With a full charge, the Moza Air 2 can film from daybreak to sunset. In this video, we will balance four different cameras. If you'd like to skip ahead, check the list. Sony A6300 with a 16-35mm lens, Panasonic GH5 with a 12-40mm lens, Sony A7S II with a 50mm lens, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with an Olympus 12-40mm lens. To help assist with balancing, attach the mini tripod to the Moza Air 2 and engage the roll lock. We will also be installing the optional eye focus which can control lens focus and lens zoom. 
Use the Allen key to attach the support rod adapter to the memory quick release plate. Screw in the rod hand tight. Let's now balance the Sony A6300 on the Moza Air 2. Attach the memory quick release plate as far back as possible to the camera. This will later help with the mass of the eye focus. Attach the camera and quick release plate to the gimbal. Attach the eye focus to the follow focus support rod. Next, attach the lens gear to the focus ring. And once the lens gear is secured, adjust the eye focus so the teeth of the eye focus mesh up the lens gear. Connect the 3.5mm cable to the eye focus and the multi-can port of the Moza Air 2. And lastly, turn on the eye focus. To adjust the pitch axis balance, slide the camera forward and backwards. Now position your camera with the lens pointed up, and this position will be able to adjust the height of the camera's center of gravity. Note, leaving this adjustment in the lowest possible position does not guarantee the balance is correct. Moving along the roll arm leads to the roll axis. Adjust the roll arm in and out till the camera no longer rises or falls. The last adjustment is the yaw axis. Hold the gimbal horizontal and take note of the roll motor's position. If the roll motor's position is high, then the yaw arm will need to be pulled out. If the roll motor's position is below, then the yaw arm will need to be pushed in. The next camera wheel balance is the Panasonic GH5. Attach the quick release plate as far back as possible to the camera. This will help compensate for the weight of the eye focus. When balancing the camera with a flip out monitor, Balance the gimbal with the monitor in the operator's desired position. Adjust the eye focus so the teeth of the eye focus mesh up with the lens gear. Connect the 3.5mm cable to the eye focus and the multi-can port of the Moza Air 2. And lastly, turn on the eye focus. After that, to adjust the pitch axis balance, slide the camera forward and backwards. Now position the camera with the lens pointed up. In this position, you'll be able to adjust the height of the camera's center of gravity. Moving along the roll arm leads us to the roll axis. Adjust the roll arm in and out so the roll arm no longer rises or falls. The last adjustment is the yaw axis. Hold the gimbal horizontal and take note of the roll motor's position. If the roll motor's position is high, then the yaw arm will need to be pulled out. If the roll motor's position is below, then the yaw arm will need to be pushed in. Now let's balance the Sony A7S II with a 50mm lens. When attaching the quick release plate to the camera, ensure that the eye focus can line up with the focus ring of the lens. Attach the lens gear to the lens. After that, attach the eye focus to the follow focus support rod. Adjust the eye focus so the teeth of the gear wheel mesh with the lens gear. Plug in the CAN connection cable to the eye focus and the CAN connection port on the Moza Air 2. To adjust the balance of the pitch axis, slide the camera forward and backwards. Now position the camera with the lens pointed up. In this position, we'll be able to adjust the height of the camera's center of gravity. Moving along the roll arm leads to the roll axis. Adjust the roll arm in and out so the roll arm no longer rises or falls. The last adjustment is the yaw axis. Hold the gimbal horizontal and take note of the roll motor's position. If the roll motor's position is high, then the yaw arm will need to be pulled out. If the roll motor's position is below, then the yaw arm will need to be pushed in. The final camera we're balancing is a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. For the setup, we're using an extra quick release plate to adjust the camera over to the left. The quick release plate is mounted to the memory quick release plate. Attach the camera to the Moza Air 2. Attach the eye focus to the follow focus support rod. Adjust the eye focus so its teeth mesh up with the lens gear. To adjust the balance of the pitch axis, slide the camera forward and backward. Now position the camera with the lens pointed up. In this position, we'll be able to adjust the height of the camera's center of gravity. Connect the CAN cable to the eye focus and the CAN port on the Moza Air 2. Moving along the roll arm leads us to the roll axis. Adjust the roll arm in and out so the roll arm no longer rises or falls. The last adjustment is the yaw axis. Hold the gimbal horizontal and take note of the roll motor's position. If the roll motor's position is high, then the yaw arm will need to be pulled out. If the roll motor's position is below, then the yaw arm will need to be pushed in. 
If you want to attach other accessories to your camera setup, like lights or microphones, you may need to make adjustments to the camera's balance after attaching those accessories. Here we have attached an aperture LED light. Also, the Moza Air 2 features an unreleased accessory stand. Also, if you want to get some feedback on your ability to balance, press the menu button, tap down on the smart wheel to highlight gimbal set, click right, highlight calibration, click right, highlight balance check, click right, during balance check, do not touch the gimbal. The Air 2 will give you a readout to help you identify if you need to make adjustment to the gimbal's balance. Select the correct camera connection cable for your camera. The Moser Air 2 can support Sony, Canon, Panasonic, Nikon, Fuji, and LAC connections. Connect the cable to the Moser Air 2 and then the camera. Press the menu button, highlight camera set, then press right on the smart wheel, highlight select, press right, tap down to highlight the correct camera model, press right to select that camera model. Some camera models can be powered and charged over the USB camera connection cable. Now that your camera is connected, you can use the Moza Master app to program a time lapse, control ISO, and use the power button to activate the camera's shutter. To use the dial on the gimbal's handle to control the eye focus, press the M button to select channel F1. To control focus over USB, select channel FE. To use the dial to control the roll axis, select R. Now that the camera is set up for the Moza Air 2, let's get the best performance from the gimbal by using Auto-Tune. Make sure you correctly balance the gimbal and the gimbal is placed on a stable surface before continuing. Press the menu button, tap down on the smart wheel to highlight gimbal set. Click right, highlight motor, click right, highlight power, click right to select, highlight Auto-Tune and click right to start. Also, Auto-Tune can be activated by holding the FN button and from the Moza Master app under Motor Settings. Wait till the gimbal is finished auto-tuned before moving or touching the gimbal. Just in case you cannot properly auto-tune the gimbal while out in the field, motor power presets can be selected from the power menu under Level. Chapter 3, Eye Focus, Filby Modes, Motor Response, Smart Trigger, and How to Invert. Our Moza Air 2 is ready to film. Let's demonstrate how to set a start and end point on the eye focus. Press the menu button, tap down on the smart wheel to highlight advanced. Click right to select, highlight focus set, and click right. Now adjust the lens position using the dial. To set point A, click right on the smart wheel to save the position. Use the dial to adjust the lens's position to set point B. Click right on the smart wheel to save that position. The eye focus can also be used to control lens zoom. The Moza Air 2 has 11 different filming modes. Some of the highlights are Inception Mode, Sport Gear Mode, and FPV Mode. Inception Mode is an exceptional way to add a dramatic twist to camera movement. Double press the speed button to enter Inception Mode. Then press the joystick to the right or the left to rotate the camera. Also, the Smart Wheel can be used to control auto rotation while in Inception Mode. By rotating the Smart Wheel, you can change the rotation speed while in Inception Mode. Pull the Smart Trigger twice to exit Inception Mode. The Smart Trigger can perform a few different filming modes. When the Smart Trigger is pulled, it will hold the position of the gimbal. To resume gimbal movement, release the trigger. To select Sport Gear Mode, press the FN button. Pan will display the letter Q to indicate Sport Gear Mode. Now when holding the Smart Trigger, the gimbal's motors will dramatically increase response time. Sport Gear Mode is essential when capturing a fast-moving subject. FPV Mode Triple pull the Smart Trigger to have the gimbal rotate 180 degrees to face the operator. FPV mode is great for video blogging or capturing a selfie video. Pull the Smart Trigger two times to return the gimbal to the starting position. Also, by rotating the Smart Wheel, you can adjust the motor's response. Let's demonstrate the four most common modes. The letter L means that that axis is locked, and the letter F means that axis will follow. To access each mode, press the joystick in one time to switch yaw axis, known as pan, from follow to lock. Press the joystick in two times to switch roll from follow to lock. Pressing the joystick three times to switch pitch, also known as tilt, from follow to lock. First mode we'll test is lock mode. Tilt is locked, roll is locked, and pan is locked. Lock mode is when all three axes are locked. Use the joystick to reposition the gimbal. The second mode we'll be testing, pan follow mode. Tilt is locked, roll is locked, pan is follow. Pan follow mode is used for panning the camera. 
The third mode we'll test is Pitch Follow. Tilt is Follow, Roll is Lock, Pan is Lock. Tilt Follow mode is used to tilt the camera. Fourth mode we'll test is Tilt Pan Follow mode. Tilt is Follow, Roll is Locked, Pan is Follow. Tilt Pan Follow mode is a great choice when the camera needs to explore the scenery or track a difficult subject. The next four modes are for those filmmakers in search of some unique camera movement. Due to these filming modes being less conventional, we will move through them quickly. Roll Follow mode. Tilt Lock, Roll Follow, Pan Lock. Roll and Pan Follow mode. Tilt Lock, Roll Follow, Pan Follow. Tilt, Roll Follow mode. Tilt Follow, Roll Follow, Pan Lock. Tilt Roll and Pan Follow mode. Tilt Follow, Roll Follow, Pan Follow. With 11 different filming modes, the Moza Air 2 offers untapped dynamic camera movement. Before we end this chapter, we'd like to touch upon the three different gimbal operating modes. We call this the vertical mode. Most users will typically hold the gimbal in this position for the majority of shots. Flashlight mode has the gimbal positioned like this. In this position, the gimbal can use inception mode. Underslug mode is great for capturing a shot from low angles and especially useful at canceling out the rise and fall of walking. Use the mini tripod as a handle extension to add extra height for a jib shot and to help spread out the weight of the gimbal. Chapter 4 Overview of the Moza Master App Open the Moza Master App. Press connect and select the Moza Air 2. The Moza Air 2 will connect over Bluetooth to the app. The app will display the gimbal's battery life, motor output, and more. Tap gimbal settings to access motor settings, button functions, calibration, advanced settings, configuration, about. Tap camera settings to access camera model, aperture, shutter, ISO, EV, viewfinder. Here you can adjust camera settings such as ISO from the Moza Master app, or make similar adjustments from the handle by pressing up, left, down, on the smart wheel. Tap remote to access on-screen controls over gimbal movement. Speed. Tap recenter to return the gimbal to the home position. Selfie. Record and stop and photo. Tap create video to access motion time-lapse, variable speed time-lapse, and time-lapse. Tap sleep to turn off the motors. Tap again to turn on the motors. Another quick way to turn off the motors is by holding in the menu button. To turn back on the motors, hold in the menu button. An important feature of the Moza Air 2 is tripod mode. This mode will suppress static drift, which is only noticeable when the gimbal is placed on a stationary tripod. Also, tripod mode can be accessed from the Moza Air 2's handle under Advanced. To keep the gimbal up to date with the latest firmware, hold in the joystick, then press the power button. The gimbal will display the message, boot mode. Open the Moza app, confirm that you want to upgrade the firmware, tap upgrade. Wait for the gimbal to finish updating before restarting the gimbal. Chapter 5, Advanced Features of the Moza Master App, Calibration, Customized Controls, and Time Lapse. Calibration is important to all gimbals, and calibrating the gimbal correctly will ensure a level horizon and drift-free operation. If the gimbal starts to drift on the yaw axis or fail to hold the horizon correctly on the roll axis, you'll need to calibrate the gimbal's gyro and accelerometer. The motors must be turned off to calibrate the stabilizer correctly. Also, calibration can be accessed from the gimbal's handle under Gimbal Set. For this demonstration, we'll use the Moza Master app for calibration. Lay the gimbal as shown, take time to make sure the gimbal is laying perfectly flat. After that, click Start Calibration. Do not touch or move the gimbal during calibration. Next, we'll calibrate the gyro. Tap Gyro and then tap Start Calibration. Once calibration is finished, power back on the motors. On the Moza Master app, under Motor Settings, you can turn on Manual Positioning. This will allow the user to position the gimbal with their hands. Note, all accesses must be in lock mode for manual positioning to function.
the smart trigger can have the four functions assigned to it, from holding in the trigger, to pulling it once, to pulling it twice, pulling it three times. The smart trigger's functions can be adjusted through the Moza Master app, or on the gimbal's handle to the menu system under Gimbal Set. If you need to restore the gimbal to default settings, you can access the Moza Master app configuration and set it to default, or from the gimbal's handle under Configuration. The Moza Air 2 can perform three different types of time-lapse. Motion time-lapse, variable speed time-lapse, and time-lapse. Motion time-lapse allows the user to program a path for the gimbal to fall during the time-lapse. Variable speed time lapse allows the user to program a path where the gimbal can adjust its movement speed. And time lapse for those wanting a stationary time lapse function. We will do a quick demonstration of motion lapse. Use the on screen remote to move the gimbal. Tap the plus symbol to add a point. Use the remote to move the gimbal. Add another point. Use the remote again to move the gimbal and add a final point. Select a duration. Adjust shutter time. And adjust interval time. To preview the gimbal's path, tap preview. And tap record to start. Thank you for watching. If you like these videos and would like to support the channel, please check out GimbalGuru.com and OwlDolly.com for all your gimbal needs. And don't forget to subscribe. We have gimbals for all levels of filmmakers such as the Moza Air 2 for $5.99, the Moza Air Cross for $3.99, and the Moza Mini Me for $99. Have questions about your future gimbal purchase? Feel free to contact our stores by email or by phone. All gimbals shipped by Gimbal Guru and Al Dolly are updated to the latest firmware and are tested before shipment. This ensures our customers get the best experience with their gimbal. Check our website for a list of gimbal dealers near you.